Next up on Boring Gear Reviews, we have the Bad Blood from Sketchy Sounds. The Bad Blood is a distortion pedal based off of the full tone OCD, but here we have an added channel so we can have a second setting for our gain stage. And this will allow us to cycle between two different distortion settings with the exact same tonal and volume characteristics otherwise. So for controls we have level and that'll control the overall output of the pedal while it's on and this will be in place for both sides. Next we have filter which is your tone shaping so you know counterclockwise for less high end. Uh, clockwise for more high end. And again, this will affect both sides, A and B. The toggle switch in the middle will take you from a low gain setting to a high gain setting. And then we have A and B distortion controls. Uh, and whatever you set it at is what those gain stages will be for that channel. We have a bypass foot switch on the right and our foot switch on the left will allow you to choose between the A side or B side. So you can flip back and forth anytime you like. So this allows for a very useful and functional take on distortion pedals where, you know, oftentimes if you have one distortion pedal, you might want a high gain setting, but not all the time. And so you use your volume knob, which is great. But sometimes you want a very fast change or your hands are busy and you don't want to mess with your volume knob. So this allows you to go between two distortion settings with the exact same EQ, the exact same level. All you're switching between is the amount of gain. Really, really fun and useful. For today's demo, I'll be using my 2013 Gibson Les Paul Traditional, and this has Sunbear 59 PAF pickups. If you'd like to see a full demo of these pickups, click the link right here. And that will be going into my UAD Apollo X6, and from there we'll be using the SoftTube JMP 2203 amp sim. All right, in this first setting, we're going to be on the low gain setting. When it says low gain, it doesn't mean like low gain, it's just lower. So the in the high setting, you'll be able to get more saturation, but not quite as clean. In the low setting, you'll be able to get more clean, but a little less saturation. But there is like a, a very wide area in the middle where they meet. So we're going to max the level, like I said, we'll be in the low setting, and our filter will be around two o'clock. The A side gain will be maxed, and the B side gain will be at noon. In the first section, you're going to hear a very thick, very saturated, a really kind of powerful and heavy tone. There's nothing else going on. It's just this pedal and this is the low gain setting. So super thick, really, really cool and satisfying. In the second section, I'm going to switch to the B side and that'll drop the gain to noon. And I'm going to pair it with the slow lures from non-human audio. If you'd like to see a full demo of the slow lures, click the link right here. So this will illustrate like how you can very quickly go from a super thick, very heavy tone to like a more straightforward rock tone, but still with a ton of character. And there's like a, a twang and a clanginess to it that I really loved. Oh, and as a quick note, for whatever reason, while I was shooting the B-roll for this, I forgot to turn the pedal on. There's a lot of balls in the air. I don't know what's going on. Actually, I do. It's probably your fault. Regardless, the function of this pedal is very, very clever and super smart. So when the pedal is off, you'll still be able to know which side is selected before you turn the pedal on. So you never guess like, oh no, which distortion do I have? When you turn the pedal on, the LED in the bottom will light up and then the left foot switch functions the same way, but just know that's my bad.
All right, in this next clip, we're gonna stay in the low gain setting. We're gonna have the volume at three o'clock, the filter at 10 o'clock, and gain A will be at 10 o'clock, and gain B will be completely off. And I'm gonna be alternating between both sides. And we will be pairing that with the Sketchy Sounds old tapes. This is a beautiful delay. We're gonna have it set as kind of like a, a very busy, almost on the verge of self oscillation. It's just gonna provide a ton of character and like a really beautiful movement and sort of, um, I guess, accompaniment. I don't know. I, I fell in love with this. If you would like to see me do a full demo of this incredible delay, hit subscribe so you don't miss it. So the old tapes will be on the whole time, and then I'm gonna alternate between both sides of the bad blood. Enjoy. And for our final clip, we're going to be in the high setting, so maximum gain. Our level will be maxed, our filter will be maxed, and then the A side gain will be maxed, and the B side will be around 8 o'clock. We're going to pair this with the Maris Mercury 7 for a very kind of beautiful, uh, heavy pre-delay, somewhat modulated uh, hall reverb. The first section will be on the B side, so the low gain setting. And then when we switch to the high gain setting, you'll hear this crazy, thick, saturated, very... It's also a very warm... Uh, tone. Even with the tone control or the filter knob all the way up, it never gets ice picky or shrill. It's a really well balanced uh, tone control.
And that's a wrap for the Sketchy Sounds Bad Blood. I think it's very obvious to hear, this is a tremendously good distortion pedal. Very simple, very stripped down, very straightforward. No chance that you can get a bad sound out of this thing. This is now the second pedal I've done for Sketchy Sounds, and with the old tapes as well, I can say that across the board, the quality is always top level. Everything feels good in your hands. They sound great. They look great. It's just a, a top level company. And right now, today is the 24th. Through the weekend, through the, uh, until the 27th, uh, he's got a Black Friday sale going on. And like most of these pedals, including this one and this one, are under $100. In fact, most of his lineup is under $100 right now. That's nuts. It's, it's nuts. So if you're looking to pick up any of the stuff, now is a great time. The links for his store and everything else I'm using in this video will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed and you dig the content, please consider hitting that subscribe, like, share, and all that stuff. Also, quick reminder, we will be doing a pedal giveaway once we hit 2,000 subscribers. So subscribe, share, all that stuff, and we'll get there quick. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Peace.